What up, what up world, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna talk about musician SEO and talk about how to get your Google knowledge graph for certain. All right, so let's talk about musicians SEO. So the definition of SEO is search engine optimization and musicians, I really don't think that they're very good at SEO and that's okay, right? Because you're good at music and so that's what is really important. I'm here to help you get good at SEO and also build up your knowledge graph, which you know, the two are hand in hand, they're tied together and so it's very important for you to make sure that your SEO is on point so your Google knowledge graph for your music is on point as well and so what I've done is created a $1 ebook that you can purchase down in the description all about musician SEO and, and also how to get your Google knowledge panel put together download it make sure you read through it go through all of the steps all of the steps in order to get your knowledge panel together so first we wanna talk about how do people even discover your music in the first place? So people finding your music is up to you, right? There is no way that fans have enough time to sift through all the songs that are published on a regular basis. And if you don't do the work to put it out and make sure that you can find it, it's not going to be discovered. Ultimately, the internet is a sea of humans and media and content that people can get lost in and your music is definitely, definitely going to get lost in the sauce. And so to rise up and float to the top, you're going to have to give it the best chance that it can get in order to be discovered. So here are some steps to securing your musician SEO. Number one, you wanna make a lot of great songs. The way that SEO works is that search engines like Google send out a bunch of software called crawlers and those crawlers will look through traffic and basically basically index all of the pages and all of the media on those pages using what's called metadata. And metadata is all of the information that is tied to those text files or media files on a web page. Once Google's crawlers make sense of all of this information, then and only then will relevant searches start to push your stuff up the list of Google's search rank algorithm. So doing your part to put out your music and distribute your music is the first step to getting your metadata out there for Google to crawl in the first place. Whenever you distribute with places like DistroKid or TuneCore, you will start to add that metadata to the web. And some of that metadata is stuff like your artist name, the song title, the label, what year it was put out, and all of those things combined. Even the writers of the song is considered metadata. So I mentioned your name as a part of your metadata. Well, when it comes to your stage name, and I have an entire video about this, your stage name needs to be unique, it needs to be easy to spell, easy to pronounce, and easy to remember. So the reason why this is important, so back in 2013, I had a name problem. My name was just TJ, T.J.A.Y. Number one, that was hard to search. It got lost with other people named TJ, or it got lost with other musicians named TJ, and it just wasn't a very good look for me. And so what I did in response is changed it to wordplay TJ, which is a little bit more distinct but harder to spell and maybe harder to pronounce for some people if they don't know who I am. But as time goes on, it's so unique that people are going to remember it. It's going to stick in people's mind even if there is a little bit of a learning curve. So you want to make sure that you release music on your digital distributor. You want to create social media posts or have a profile on social media and you want to create a website for your music somewhere for your music music to live that has a dot com tied to it. Next step is that you want to put some media out and I would suggest at least an album's worth of songs so you can start to generate traffic on that music. So for example, in 2017, I started releasing one song a month and I'm probably going to go back to this and I built out this marketing plan for me to grow my audience and to get 
Google to know who I was. And the goal of that was to make myself discoverable on the internet. And it worked. I put out music and I also made sure to share those songs as best as I possibly could in order to rise up the rank in Google. So speaking of boosting traffic, there are some ways for you to grow your traffic on Google and I'm gonna list those ways out. So one way is to put out one song a month or at least on a regular basis. Uh, make sure that you create social media posts for your music, but basically focus on one platform that you really, really like and double down on that platform. You can run Facebook ads to Instagram to increase your Spotify traffic, and you can also run Pandora featured song campaigns. Another thing that I did was I blogged every time I created a new song. And so every new song had some traffic that I was generating directly from my website. The next step, and this is what a lot of people are here for, claiming your Google knowledge panel. In order to claim your Google knowledge panel you have to do two things you have to first sign in to Google you can do this through a Gmail account or you can just get a Google account and sign in maybe you do it through your YouTube account whatever it may be but sign in to Google first then you want to search for your stage name when you search for your stage name if you don't find it that means you got a lot of work to do that means you need to keep on putting out work and also getting traffic to that work so it can be indexed by Google. The next thing, if you can find your name, make sure that you claim your Google Knowledge Panel and tie it to a Google account. Once you claim that panel, you wanna start feeding that panel more and more relevant, relevant metadata. And relevant just means that when somebody searches it, they get what they're looking for. In order to do this, you wanna do some of those things that I told you about with traffic. You wanna blog about your music, you want to put it out on YouTube, which is hand in hand with Google, right? YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world next to Google and it's owned by Google. So you might as well put stuff on YouTube in order to grow that traffic. You can also use musicbrains.org, which is like the Wikipedia of music cataloging. And when you go on musicbrains.org, you fill out all that information about the metadata of your music in order to feed that to Google as well. If you wanna see a full tutorial on Music Brains, you can find it down in the description and I'll put it up in the cards as well. And the last thing, the last thing, look man, the last thing you want to do is to wait. You have to be patient. And I mean extremely patient. Most of the time when I get questions about Google Knowledge Panels, it's because people haven't put out enough music, they haven't, increase the traffic of their their work they haven't claimed their panel and they're not waiting enough time for google to crawl those websites and to index their stuff so you of course you're not going to get a google knowledge panel within a span of months it just doesn't work that way it took years for my panel to generate and so you might have to wait years as well ultimately this is about going through the journey of standing out on the internet and being discoverable and when you're waving through the sea of music and musicians it's important to make yourself stand out by the way if you want some one-on-one -on -one help with this you can book a consultation i have a promo code available book 20 b-o-o-k 20 and you can use that on my website wordplaytj.com forward slash rise to book your consultation today so that's it if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section i appreciate you watching this video be sure to share this video with somebody that might get something out of it and until next time it's your homeboy wordplay tj peace i think i lost my alert